Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. Today I've got an interview with Dimitri from QuickNode. So QuickNode is the fastest and easiest way to run your own Ethereum node. And you'll have to forgive me in advance, I'm having a few technical difficulties with my video, um, but we're going to continue on anyway. So also be sure to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos about building decentralized applications on the Ethereum blockchain. So welcome, Dimitri, to the channel. Do you want to give your elevator pitch for you know how QuickNode is the fastest and easiest way to run your own Ethereum node? Because it's not always fast or easy, is it? Well, we're we're trying to simplify that for, for the Ethereum devs because they no no button you know if, if you're writing if you're writing an app I mean I I've worked among developers I have worked for uh, IT companies before and the, the the worst thing is like when, when you're when you're creating something you you've got a vision and the the one like you hit a block where you know you have to go to and set up a server and then set up software and then troubleshoot that software to make it do what you want and that takes that takes out you know a lot of energy a lot of time from the create the create the create uh, the creation process so this is what kind of what quicknote solves for for developers is that they they don't need to go and and run their own parity client or get client and deal with the quirks of each and it, you know each 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 company at parity and and go ethereum they're like okay this is experimental software so use it at your, at your own risk our team coming from uh, a background of managing clusters of servers, managing data centers, building global networks. Uh, we understand this stuff probably better than anybody else. I mean, we, we were, yeah, our, our team, our team's experience goes back to the late nineties. So we were, we were basically in the transition between from web 1.0 to web 2.0. Uh, and, and then we kind of, we created the foundation for Web 2.0. You know, we contributed to projects uh, like Nginx. Um, we contributed to uh, Apache, to uh, Linux, to Ubuntu, to Gen2. So, kind of the Web 2.0 that we're we're in right now, that was built with the help of, I want to say, you know, it's not all of us, but we contributed to that, and that's been and that's been running fine for for 20 years. Um, but now there's a shift, this 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 shift towards blockchain and decentralization, and you know people are calling this Web 3.0. Um, so we kind of see this, uh, and we saw this as an opportunity to um, kind of facilitate that um, transition to Web 3.0. So if we could provide the infrastructure layer for these Web 3 uh, apps, um, we work with with the you know. Running Ethereum nodes is just one point. I think more and more applications will will move towards this decentralized model, and uh, will will have more than just Ethereum nodes. There'll be maybe like Nginx nodes or Apache. I mean, there are already um, sim similar similar um, similar technologies like globally distributed systems. But um, you know, th I, th I think what we're doing with with the Ethereum nodes is, is just is just the beginning. Um, so if we wanted to, you know, learn more about QuickNode online, uh, where would we find you all? Okay, so uh, quicknode.io, uh, you could spell it uh, Q-U-I-K-N-O-D-E or the correct way, which is Q-U-I-C-K-N-O-D-E uh, .io and, and .com. Uh, we, we try to keep our website short, simple, to the point. And if you have additional questions, we have, we're active on Slack and we're very active on Twitter. So we have links um, at the bottom of our page there. If, you, if you, our DMs on Twitter are open, so if you have a question, just shoot us um, or jump in our Slack. You know we have um, the develop the developers of, of QuickNote in there, a couple engineers. Uh, we have a number of Ethereum uh, engineer uh, pro developers there, hanging out. You know, helping out one another. You know, somebody will come in with a question like, "Oh, I'm trying to do this. It's slow." And, Somebody was like, "Oh, there's this library. You can try this, this, and that." Uh, we also uh, invited a couple of the parity devs in there because sometimes we'll run into an issue specific to the client, and uh, this way they can respond directly to to the users uh, and also gather feedback to improve um, to improve their their product. Um, 
but yeah, Twitter, Twitter, and and Slack. That's 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 where we at. Cool, cool. How you know if I'm a DApp developer? How does QuickNode help me as a DApp developer? Okay, so you're built. You're building a DApp. I mean, you will eventually come come to a point where you'll need uh, like you'll need a backend, uh, just just like you would, let's say, like a SQL database. So somewhere to read information from that powers your application. And to demonstrate that, we actually made a little. Um, we started a little project called QWallet, QWallet.io. Uh, it's, it's a simple implementation of what you can do with a quick node. Basically, what QWallet.io does is you punch in an Ethereum address, uh, or a, a, yeah, Ethereum address, and it'll give you um, all the tokens and their values, their dollar values. So when, when you punch when you punch in a, a, an Ethereum address into QWallet.io, it queries uh, the quick node backend uh, using the RPC API, and it gets uh, the values from from the latest block. Uh, and then it also uses an API with, uh, I believe, Crypto Compare, and then uh, fetches the uh, dollar amount, and now we support Korean won, Japanese yen, um, and Bitcoin. So you basically get uh, an overview of your wallet values and your wallet's worth. Um, and that's that's just one of the, that's just like a, some of the basic uh, things that, that you you could do. Um, for example, if you were to fork uh, my Ether wallet or my crypto, um, every time you use that, it sends the transaction to a, a node, an Ethereum node, um, or anytime you check your wallet balance, you are reading data from a node. So somewhere, you are connecting to an Ethereum node backend, um, and to save you the time and trouble of running your own and maintaining it, making sure it's secure, that it's not getting hacked, it's not getting DDoS, things like that, you could just fire up a quick node, um, and then and then just plug it in. We offer uh, HTTP uh, and WebSockets um, URLs. Nice. So tell me a little bit more about the uh, the pain of running your own Ethereum node. You mentioned that just a little bit at the tail end of your explanation. There, you want to elaborate on that a little bit. Sure, sure. Um, so, what what a lot of I mean, what a lot of the, uh, our, our clients are running into is uh, they, they, they're having trouble keeping their nodes stable. They're they're having trouble fine tuning the environment. You know, the amount of CPU, the amount of RAM, um, and they're having a hard time keeping it in sync. And also, depending on how many resources you dedicated to it, uh, also directly relates to how fast it works. So. You know, if you're building a DAP and you need to read some chain data, uh, and your node is giving you a response time of like 20 seconds, nobody's going to use your DAP. So where they can come to to Quick Node and, and basically simplify that entire process. That, that, that's that's aside from keeping it secure, making sure there's no you know, nobody's doing any uh, malicious stuff on there, uh, making sure it's uh, online 24/7 because sometimes it'll be running one day you'll go to sleep and then you wake up and it's no longer running or it's out of sync or maybe the server ran out of memory something like that so we we take that entire thing out of the, out of the equation and you just focus on your app build the code plug in the URL um, and we take care of uh, updating Node for you I know before the Byzantium fork. Uh, Parity updated their client maybe four times in a week. So if you're not keeping track of their updates and the fork happens and you're still on the old fork, you're going to get stale data. You know, I think it stopped at a certain block and then it, it, there were just no more blocks because all the miners moved on to um, onto a different fork. So we we do all that behind the scenes. We take care of that, make sure the, that the node is running stable. Uh, it's synced to the latest block. Um, it's it's got fast internet, so you you're always always on the latest block, and we keep it uh, secure for you. Nice, very cool, very cool. You know, what all technologies are you using to uh, build this Quick Note project? So we initially started out with uh, the Parity um, uh, Parity client, uh, and you then, then explain to people what Parity is really quickly. Sure. Uh, so Parity Technologies, it's they're, they're a company um, founded by uh, Gavin Wood, um, who's uh, one of the co-creators of Ethereum. Um, and it's no different than like Apache or Nginx. It's 
it's a client that will keep a copy of the Ethereum uh, chain uh, in sync, up to date, um, and it also has the JSON uh, RPC API, uh, so you can communicate with it. Um, if you're running uh, a, a full wallet uh, on your computer, if, if you're fortunate enough to have enough resources and patience to wait for all that to sync and, and work, you're, you're essentially running um, either Parity or, or Geth on, on your computer. Right. But if, if you've had, uh, if you've tried to do it, you know that it's not as simple. Um, takes up, I don't know, probably like 40, maybe 50 gigs of uh, space on your computer. I'm not talking about light clients. I'm talking about full, full mode. client. Yeah, the full the full public ledger is quite big. It's it's quite big, and and then you know then you have archive nodes, which are probably in excess of 300 or 400 gigabytes right now. Um, but you need you know, let's let's just let's just rewind a little bit. Um, the, how, how the QuickNote project started. It started um, in summer of 2017 uh, when there was the ICO hype and um, my Ether wallet was at the center of that because everybody was using my Ether wallet more or less uh, in addition to MetaMask. But let's, let's, let's say that the my Ether wallet was, was pretty popular back then to, to participate. And at times um, they would say, hey, our nodes would go down or they would go out of sync and um, I myself was trying to uh, secure an e ENS domain names. And if, if you've tried doing the ENS stuff, you know that if you don't act in time, you might lose you lose your ether, whatever whatever you bid. <laughs> so it was a time sensitive thing. And um, coming coming from coming from our background, uh, and any kind of even like you know ten seconds, twenty seconds, but like any kind of delay or any kind when something doesn't work at this point in time, let's, I'm talking like Web two technologies. That's it. You know the user will go and move, move somewhere else. It's just not pleasant. So we thought, how, why don't we apply our experience and you know help help uh, improve the user experience for for anyone doing it. So um, we saw the option. It said custom node, and you could. If you're running your own node, you could link that in and send all your trans all your transactions uh, in my Ether wallet through that. So I said, okay, so let's let's try this like node as a service uh, thing, and it it started working, and, and people found found value in it. And what really the the real spark was um, a few months later when Zero uh, X had their ICO, and that slammed uh, my Ether wallet's nodes really really heavy. So one of the options was get a quick node, connect it to my Ether wallet, and then send your transaction. So this way you're not relying on uh, public node infrastructure. You know, think of it as a, as a funnel. You have, you know, so, so many spots that, that are not, you know, so many transactions a node can handle, and here comes like tens of thousands of people trying to participate. And let's even, you know, that node's not able to handle it or, or that, that network's not able to scale if you if you are running your own, you send it straight in. It goes directly to the blockchain. It's like a it's like a highway uh, express lane, and it ju it just uh, uh, you know your your transaction has a higher chance of success. It goes through, and it's just a better experience because you're not worrying about like oh do I have to try it again? What happens? Where did my ether go? Um, think things like that. Tell me a little bit about your particular involvement on the project and how that relates to kind of everyone who's working on QuickNode. Cool. Uh, so I this this was this was an idea from from just personal experience, which which I just explained. You know the need for for personal nodes. Um, in addition to also helping the Ethereum network network scale, you know they were saying, oh, we need more nodes, we need more full nodes to uh, feed light clients. So I said, well, here we can like kill two birds with one stone. We can. Mm -hmm. A, you know, scale the Ethereum uh, virtual machine with with a bunch of full nodes, and also give people better, uh, better, a better experience by by giving them their own express lane to the blockchain. Um, and then, um, you know, I, I had I had a buddy of mine that that uh, um, knew networking and this kind of stuff really really well. So you know, we floated the idea and we pushed out a proof of concept in about a week. Um, awesome. we had, yeah, we had, we had the website spun up. We had, we had some code written, which is written in go, uh, pretty, pretty much all of it. And, um, 
we're like, okay, we'll, we'll try parody. We'll, um, we, 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 we tried parody. We tried Geth. Uh, but we ended up we ended up uh, sticking with parity for for the beginning. By the way, we now support Geth. We, about a month ago, we released support for Geth. So now, when you go and you sign up, you can choose uh, Geth or parity. In addition to you know, we only started out in in the beginning with just uh, the main net, but now we support uh, Robston, Covan, um, even even Expanse. So you can choose whatever whichever chain whichever chain Rink, Rinkaby, uh for 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 Geth now. So, when when you spin up a quick node, you have the option to choose where, uh, which chain, and which client you want to use it. Um, so yeah, so we're two two person team, uh, and then and then we have uh, one one other one other is also a colleague of mine who is helping us um, on on more like the, the business and administrative tasks uh, because they they're a multi time entre- entrepreneur uh, before, so they they've done these kind of startups. Um, before, and another thing is, you know, we didn't do an ICO. We didn't raise any money. This is all uh, bootstrapped because, you know, I was fortunate enough to get some ether early on. So when ether went up in price, I said, "Well, ether's done this nice thing for me. How do I how do I give back? How do I how do I help you know exp- grow this exponentially sure. um, and, and, and give back to the community?" and <laughs> You know, it's it's funny, but Steve Ballmer, you know, he's like developers, developers, developers. <laughs> the net, the net, the network is worth nothing without people building on it. And I'm I'm really happy. I'm really happy to see that uh, Ether is gaining more and more adoption, especially among young, you know, younger developers that that are really embracing uh, this this decentralized um, decentralized ideology and. And way of doing things, and I think that that is the future because you and, and you see it's the future because you have you have big corporations also jumping into it, and they're they're scared. They're scared mm-hmm. because they're scared because it's it's affecting it's 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 directly competing with the way they've been doing business before. But at the same time, they they understand at this point that it's inevitable, so they're jumping on on the same ship. You know, they're 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 also they're also trying to. Do, work with blockchain and and embrace embrace this um evolution yeah very cool so that actually kind of led into my next question about um you know the future of this technology and ethereum blockchain so maybe i'll ask you more specific uh question in that area what do you think the future of decentralized applications is and where do you see that going um well (sighs) Being being able to eliminate intermediaries, especially when it comes to uh, exchanging value, uh, is is great. I mean, I, I personally am a fan of. Um, I was using uh, Ether Delta, and and I found that and, and I was before before the sale. Uh, you know, I spoke with uh, Zach Coburn, uh, who was who was the founder of Ether Delta and and First Blood. Uh, he he was actually helpful. Uh, from in the very early stages of of quick node and in nailing you know the use case because uh, ether delta was making was making uh, calls to uh, to some nodes uh, back then and and you know my fir- the fascination started there when you know I made my first trade over a smart contract I was like wow this this worked and I didn't have to trust anyone it, it just it just happened uh, so and, and and people people saw this uh, even you know with crypto kitties um, right. and 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 then even more and even more when when uh, they started trading tokens. But uh, be, being being able to eliminate things like like escrow and and put put uh, things like deeds and titles on, on the blockchain and, and being able to to transfer those trustlessly. I think I think that is really really amazing, really the future. And and not only is is it going to um, eliminate um, unnecessary spend through intermedi- intermediaries, but I think it's also going to achieve a level of business automation that's never before been possible. So one of the things we're exploring at Quick Note right now is uh, payments through smart contracts. So you'll have uh, you know you'll you'll basically have uh, Programs talking to each other through trustlessly through smart contracts, executing payments for for services and goods. 
Right. Um, and this this will all be it's it's more towards the vision of like a decentralized autonomous organization DAO, where at a certain point, once once this um, organization is is launched into production, the hu- you know the the human aspect, you, you can kind of just take a step back and and let things th- things run themselves. Right. And that uh, is maybe one thing that's often overlooked when we talk about the future of this technology and, you know, decentralized applications. It's, um, you know, there's a whole lot of web infrastructure out there that doesn't have, you know, user facing features. Right. And similarly, uh, there's going to be lots of uses for the blockchain uh, with machine to machine um, kind of transactions. Yeah. So when you when you think about AI, I think I think, you know, blockchain helps achieve that that level, that level of, of of trust and and uh, kind of in inter interaction and interoperability between uh, whatever you know whatever intelligence will will be whatever computer intelligence will have in the future. Yeah, very nice. Well, that uh, concludes my list of questions. Is there anything else that you'd like for the folks at home to know about QuickNode? Uh, you know, I it's it's. Uh, it's it's a fast moving it's a fast moving uh, industry like things change on on a constant basis so um, we're we're always we're we're very feedback driven uh, many of our features came from uh, custom users who who came on board and said hey we're we're doing we're doing this we're building this project it'll be useful to have this kind of feature so uh, if you have suggestions jump in our Slack uh, tell us more about what you're doing uh, and how we can make QuickNote better and you know, we'll we'll put it. We'll make those features happen for you guys and girls. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, we really appreciate that. Uh, you know kind of uh, inviting people in to your business. That's another kind of thing that's nice about a lot of these early projects in this space is uh, people are got a pretty open door. So we appreciate that from you all too. Um, so yeah, guys, we uh, are glad to have Dimitri on the day. Um, be sure to check out QuickNode at uh, quicknode.com. Nice. I like the I like the shirts. Yeah, um, the limited it's limited edition swag. That's maybe right. we'll, maybe we'll give some uh, away for for your viewers. We'll do something like that. Oh, that'd be awesome. So yeah, check out quicknode.com. That's with a CK or a K, either one, right? And find them on Twitter. Yeah, or or quicknode.io. .io. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. Later. <laughs> Thank you.